Hey guys, welcome to Day Zero's Off Topic. I'm your host, Kirby Kidd, and today I'm here with... John Bring. Sebastian Kalechik. And uh, you might remember them from last year. They did uh, Penguins vs. Possums, and now you've also done... Uh, now we've also got a couple... Uh, well, we have the second issue of Penguins vs. Possums, yes. which is in Sebastian's hand, and then another comic called Crossover, which is, a, uh, which is an anthology book featuring superheroes. Cool. Well, first, I'm super excited about Penguins vs. Possums. I, I waited a long time for issue two. <laughs> Uh, Thank you for your patience. As, yeah. did, as did many people. <laughs> it was like I don't want to spoil anything, but like I was for one side and now I'm for another side because one oh, side nice. just got so much Snap. more awesome. awesome. Like so, but uh, tell tell us a little bit about Penguins versus Possums without spoiling it for everyone out there. I'll let you take okay. this one. Uh, issue number two uh, takes place pretty quickly after the events of issue number one. Issue number one ends with a giant battle, and issue two picks up sort of in the aftermath of that, and um, the two sides sort of dealing with all the repercussions of everything that's happened. And they've got pretty significant deaths on both sides uh, as far as numbers and as far as personal connections. So um, dealing with that propels them forward to the rest of the comic book. And this one deals a lot of, uh, or just deals a lot with sort of internal struggles within characters themselves and within the two separate societies. And so there's a little less penguins versus possums action and a right. little more possums versus possums or penguins versus penguins. Right. Um, and f on the possum side, there's the chosen one is from the first issue is dealing with um, accepting or not accepting his role as a leader and how that affects the rest of the group. And on the penguin side, the... Um, the son of the emperor returns to claim his throne and find some obstacles in his way. Yeah, when I was reading it, I found that they act very human. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, for animals, like, like these are things that I would see other humans, you know, pull. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I would assume animals are more united. But, uh, clearly, <laughs> we, we try to we try to <laughs> focus on or or shine a light on universal issues. Yeah. as silly as that is, but the thing that we always say about the comic is it's. A completely ridiculous concept that we take a hundred percent seriously and so even though they are issues that normally typically happen with humans and maybe it would be different in the animal kingdom uh, you know they are universal so that's why we try to focus and on you those. pull off the seriousness very well oh great Thanks. And but hopefully not too too serious yeah I mean there's like there's like there's a little bit of like silliness but then like the next page will be like something like oh now I'm sad you know? <laughs> and so it's it's a it's a roller coaster but as a fan I have to know is this gonna be an ongoing thing or is it almost over It'll be ongoing. How long it will go on is yet to be determined. Forever. forever. <laughs> we, we, would, we would love for it to go on forever. Uh, it's a matter of um, time and how quickly Image picks us up. <laughs> right. Right. Or Marvel. Or, or Marvel or, or DC. Yeah. Or uh, any, any, any of you. Or IDW or <laughs> Dark Horse Comics. Right. Um, it, but right now we're planning on doing at least six. Okay. And did, were there any plans to maybe add any other animals on either side, maybe? Other species, yeah. yeah. Uh, like other non penguins no. versus possums. Awesome. We don't want it to turn to Disney, uh, <laughs> and it, it's just this is a pretty specific story as far as uh, I mean, every everybody and everything on the planet will be affected when on the final judgment day. Yeah, that's but, crazy. <laughs> um, but as far as who we focus on and the rivalry, that's this story is right. very much penguins and possums. The only other species that will come into play more is humans. All right. Okay. Now, tell us a little bit about Crossfire. Uh, it's actually Crossover. Oh, I'm sorry. That's I, quite all right. It's been called Crossroads. Crossroads, Crossfire. It's cool. <laughs> um, that's what we get for not being quite as distinctive as Penguins vs. <laughs> Possums, because you can't forget that title. No, you can't. Uh, this is actually an anthology series featuring superheroes. Uh, Sebastian and I did not know each other growing up. He grew up in San Jose. I grew up in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, so we grew up on opposite ends of the country, um, but I guess we came up at the same time that like image hit really huge and comics were the thing. So, uh, you know, as a lot of kids did, we created our own comic books, uh, which obviously we continued doing for a long time. But uh, we created all these characters, tons of superheroes. We basically made our own universes mm -hmm. uh, into uh, over the course of several years. Um, tons of characters. I had a partner named Darren. He had a partner named Josh. Um, and eventually, you know, as these things do with kids, they sort of kind of fade into the obscurity and mm -hmm. sort of collect dust. And uh, so when we met and uh, we, we figured out that each other were artists, um, we met working on a show together and um, he would bring copies of his old comics in and I'd show him stuff when I could find it. And mm -hmm. we just thought it was really fun and 
cool that like we'd each when we were like around the same age 11 12 made right. these these universes up so we decided to i we thought it would be fun if we kind of like traded off superheroes or just as just like an exercise right. but what it ultimately led to was we we kind of took it a little bit more a little bit more seriously and um it just kind of grew into this 44 page tome that i hold in my hands today um that's mostly full color and uh there's one uh, grayscale story in here but uh it's it's all these characters that even though they were made when we were young kids mm -hmm. they're they're made from they're from the minds of children we've really like we, we picked them up and blew the dust off of them and were like, wow, these actually kind of work as adults. Like, right. the ideas were there, this, you know, the ideas were solid, and it's just, you know, coming everything coming from, like, the unbridled imagination of youth, so... <laughs> and it's fun to tap into that as right. adults now and see what's what we can really dig into and what we can have fun with. Exactly, and, and the story for this... Uh, again, yeah, it's like, it's, it is a seriously taken, you know, we took it seriously, uh, it's an adult story, but very much a throwback to the kinds of things we would have done as kids. So, do they cross over and fight the different heroes? Uh, yes, actually. Well, there's a like I said, there's a it's it's a, an anthology, so it's five different stories, right. and then four of them introduce different characters, different players, uh, with vignettes in between each story, kind of building a greater world. And then yes, in the final story, or they finally cross over, and it's a team up of a group of villains. From both of our universes, mm -hmm. and a team up of a group of heroes from both of our universes, you know, joining, banding together to fight evil. So the stories cross over right. as well as our universes crossing over. Right. Are you going to cross over PvP? Oh, I don't. I don't think Probably. so. <laughs> we <laughs> have the universe would explode. <laughs> <laughs> It'd just be too good. Uh, we have a the, the best you'll get out of that is um, his uh, old partner from back in the day, Josh, drew us a pinup. Uh, we just asked him for a couple to put in the back of the book, and the one he drew us two. The one we used, and then the other one was actually uh, the character in the middle here, the Human Missile Launcher, which only a kid could think of a name like the Human <laughs> Missile Launcher, whose power is to literally take missiles and throw them really fast. That's, and that's as, power. as silly as that sounds, he's a pretty cool character. But he's anyway, awesome. Wait, he, he, does he spawn the missiles? No, 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 no. no, no. They're actual <laughs> missiles. He has like a he has like a quiver of <laughs> missiles on his back, and he even like takes them and shoots them off and like flies with them and yeah. stuff. He can fly, um, but if he's strong enough to hold those <laughs> missiles and fly, pretty crazy. But, but, but um, he drew a a, a pinup for us, which we'll probably use in a future issue of Penguins vs. Possums of uh, the human missile launcher with a bunch of penguins <laughs> with machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> so look for that. Spoiler alert! I, I kind of want to see the human missile launcher fight somebody now. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's, he's actually pretty cool. Like it sounds like a funny there idea. There you are. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, if you want to hear more about them, you can listen to us on Krypton Radio Thursdays at 7 o'clock. We'll be doing the longer version, so you, you. Yeah, you'll hear all about it and more. But until and then, you can pick up our books at penguinsvspossums.com. That's penguinsvspossums.com. Also, same name, at penguinsvspossums. That's penguinsvspossums is our Twitter, and you can also find us on Facebook. I'm glad you said that. I would have forgot. Being honest on, on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so until then, I've been Kirby Kid and... You guys are Sebastian Kedlecik and John Bring. See you later, guys.